Don Bombay here from Bombay Wine and Spirits in Farmington, New York. I've enjoyed 39 years of the wine business. I've done everything from winemaking, marketing wine, selling wine. I've been a judge with wine for many years. And now for the past 20 years, retail. It's been a great career. I had a request to do some videos educating you on wine. I tried to break it down in its simplest form so it's easy to understand, but makes you a better wine consumer. What a great thing to do. Buy a bottle of wine, explore, pour a glass, and enjoy it with food or just by itself. So sit back, relax, and I hope you can take something away from my videos. How wine is made. It all starts in the vineyard where the grapes are grown. You can't make good wine with bad grapes. There are over 10,000 varieties of grapes. However, about 1,300 are used in winemaking. There are many different varieties of grapes, each of which has a different style and flavor. Whether purple, green, or pink, they all produce clear juice. The color comes from the skin, which is extracted during and after fermentation. Once mature, grapes are either picked by hand or by machine. Hand picking yields better quality juice, but it's very time consuming and expensive. Once the grapes are picked, they are now crushed. They go through what's called a crusher destemmer, which not only crushes the grapes, but removes stems and sticks and any other undesirables. A more fun way is to do it by foot. It's very traditional. You should try it sometime. It's a great party. Once grapes are crushed, the product is called must. Must is a combination of juice, pulp, skin, and seeds. Winemakers add yeast to the must to begin fermentation. This is where the magic happens. The yeast eats the sugars in the juice and produces alcohol, CO2, and heat. Winemakers monitor this process carefully to make sure they produce the best possible wine from the grapes that were grown. When fermentation is complete, winemakers now separate the wine from the fermented must. Winemakers gently squeeze this must to get the best quality juice possible. The wine is very cloudy at this stage, which is caused by yeast and other particles in the wine. This cloudiness is removed several different ways. Winemakers often use the process of fining where gravity causes this cloudiness to fall to the bottom of the tank. They can also clarify it by pumping the cloudy wine through filters or centrifuges. The end result is a clear liquid ready for aging. Not all, but many wines go through barrel aging, which is the cornerstone of the process. The wine is pumped into wooden barrels and it can sit for a few months to many years. Over this time, the wine's flavors integrate and mature. Winemakers monitor the wine periodically to assure that the wine is aging well. There is a fine line between imperfect and perfect. When perfect, the winemaker approves the wine and it is now sent to bottling. When wines are bottled, the utmost care must be used to make sure everything is sanitary. The wine must be completely clear and free from any contaminants. The bottles and equipment used must also be clean. This assures that the bottled wine has a healthy shelf life. A sanitized cork or screw top seals the bottle keeping the wine in and the oxygen out which can spoil the wine. Labeling and boxing can be done directly after bottling or after the wine bottle ages. Because wine is alive and ever evolving, the process of bottling causes what is called bottle shock. The wine needs time to settle down before it can be consumed. When wine is shipped to your retailer and put on the shelf, 
it is ready to drink and needs no further aging. In fact, 98% of all wine gradually loses its best quality over time. So what are you waiting for? I hope you enjoyed learning how wine was made. It will make you a better wine consumer. I look forward to the next videos and I hope you enjoy a glass of wine today. Agotrasante, which means to your health.